Hey, hey, I got I got one, but you oh son, you got a lot bigger. You got a big fish. You got a big fish. This is just a Tokyo rig, Tokyo rig, Tokyo rig. Let's see you look, buddy. That, that Tokyo rig is the deal. We are catching fish on a Tokyo rig. Look at that thing. That's just a couple of pounds. Hey, look at Mike's fish. He's got a really good one. Mike, 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 that's what we're talking about. That's the Tokyo rig for sure. You know what we have to do? We're going to have to talk about something here. Because Mike and I... This is my first experience fishing a Tokyo rig, and you just gave me one, and now you've caught a beautiful big bass on yours, and I caught a small one on mine. But we're down here at Backrack Lake in Mexico. We're down with the Yamamoto baits, and Mike, you're, you're like, you've been fishing a Tokyo rig quite, quite some time. Yeah. And so uh, maybe we can tell the camera a little bit about the, the, the ABCs of Tokyo rig fishing. Look, he's been hooked before. Mm -hmm. You can see it right on his lip right here. You can see the see the hook mark right there where he's been hooked before. I'll be daggone. Huh. Okay, you gonna let him go? Super deal. Way you go. Good five or six pound bass. Well you know, okay, let's talk about the Tokyo rig a second. Mine, I had a tricolored worm on. Mike, what'd you have on? A uh, flapping hog that time. Okay. And you had here's one with a Senko rigged up on it. See that that's the Senko rig, and now that's that's a, a dual color. Well, we got the sun all wrong. We're, you know, wind of the sun, and the, we can't get the boat turned around because I don't know. Anyway, the Tokyo rig is is basically you might be explaining it better than I. Just what it consists of. Basically, a, either an offset or a straight chain hook with a a bar on the bottom which you attach your weight to and it's almost like a like a drop shot rig but for bigger baits and and fishing out deeper and fishing in around the cover just gives your bait a totally different look in the water hey look at that that's like about a quarter uh, maybe that's a half half ounce, ounce half ounce weight and that's the, yeah. the nice thing about this rolling is that you can put any size weight on it you want you can put a flipping weight on it yeah you can put one of these cylinder weights on it um there's really no wrong way to fish it now i've only been fishing the i mean the the uh, tokyo rig for a couple hours and i've only caught like three fish on it and, and uh that one that you just landed was your biggest one today but it was it was you know we've caught a number of three or three and four pound fish mm -hmm. but now it's a it's a numbers game on the tokyo rig don't you don't you feel like it's it's more of a it's not a trophy bass mm -hmm. kind of a lure as much as it is a numbers lure, right? Yeah, you catch numbers with it for sure. <clears throat> and, you know, the thing about it is that there's no wrong place to throw. You know, we're fishing out deep and fishing on points and, yeah. and deeper bluffs today. But, you know, I've had good success with it fishing around cover and grass, too. So. Well, some of the guys are taking these these Tokyo rigs and putting big uh, uh, crawl worms and stuff on them, right? And they're actually flipping in heavy brush and cover yes. and using them as a flipping weight. Mm -hmm. That's a flipping deal. Well, I'll be that going. Well, let's rig up one, and uh, see. You got yours rigged up, and this one here. Is yeah, mine. we'll put a uh, let's oh, put a flapping hog on yours because okay. that's what the last fish came on. Okay, let's let's do that. The last fish was a flapping hog, so you can just put about anything on it. I had a I had a tricolored worm on for a while, and then we had flapping hogs on. Yeah. So so we'll let's just just go ahead and rig it up. I, just, just show them how to rig it up. So real simple, just like you'd rig with any other type of plastic, Texas style. I like to put about a half an inch or so and slide it right on up around the bend. That's pretty cool. And then cool. I'll bury it back. Yeah. Okay. Just like so that, like almost that. just like it's skin hooked. So that's my rig right there. So There's I got yours my... right there. Okay, Mike, let's just show the camera how to catch one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit harder to do, folks. You know, it, but now that we've told you all about the Potokyo rig and shown you how it works, and, now the deal is we're going to catch one, but you know, I don't know. It's uh, It's been working. We've caught, you know, about a dozen or so fish on it today. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Let's see if we can't catch another one. Throw it out there like a worm, but see, it hits the bottom. Now I'm keeping my rod kind of high, kind of in a strike position because I want to set the hook quick, right? Yeah. 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 Almost just like you would a regular Texas rig. Okay. So I'm just kind of shaking it along, moving it along. Mike's got, got one. Hey, go. Go. hey, Mike's got one. He got. He just hooked one up. Oh, it's a nice one. Three or four pounds. Oh, that was. Hey, that's showing the camera a few things. Hey, way to go, Mike. 
That's a nice big old bag. Okay, I'll tell you what folks, we are showing you a new technique, how to catch them on the, on the Tokyo rig. And Mike Del Visco is just, is just a real expert at doing this, and he's been, been doing this quite a while. He's an outdoor rider as well, a tournament fisherman as well. Hey Mike, man, are you showing a camera? You're showing everybody the thing. That's good. And you did it so effortlessly. He just, you just had, had just a, the second they hit, you just popped them right. You had a pretty stiff rod. Just, yeah, just like your uh, your regular Texas worm fishing. Uh, you know, we're fishing a little bit heavier gear down here. You know, because we're in Mexico and we're around all these big fish and trees yeah. and stuff. So 20 pound test, but you know, you can also finesse fish it too, which is the cool thing because you can put any size weight you want on it. We've got half ounce weights because we want it to get down there deep, but quarter ounce weight you can fish smaller baits they make all different types of hook sizes too so it's endless uh because it's more of a custom deal just like sure. gary Yamamoto custom baits yeah you got the custom tokyo right now too okay now mike let me ask you a question uh you w right now we got that uh that little uh, creature bait on there what what are some of the other lures that you really like uh, this is a really good one. This is the flapping hog. Yeah. And uh, that's one of my favorite little baits to fish on okay. the Tokyo rig. But I also like um, the the mermaid, which For, has got oh, a little yeah. bit more subtle uh, tail action to it. And then, of course, the Senko, which okay, is, you, know, you can't go wrong fishing the Senko on okay. just about anything you throw. But uh, those are my three favorites, you know, depending upon what kind of cover, what kind of structure. Yeah. You know, the, the unique thing about this, like we said, is that you can fish it in virtually everything. Uh, well, so well, I was just going to say, I say I, I, the expert is Mike De, DeVisco because I'm not an expert. I'm asking you, and, and that's the beautiful thing about this workshop. We're down here in Mexico, and we're down here at Lake Backrack. We have a lot of different outdoor riders. We have a lot of different pro fishermen. And Mike, you're uh, you're from the Tennessee area, and uh, you uh, you fish a lot of tournaments, and but you've really kind of figured out this Tokyo rig. One of my favorite things yeah. to fish over the past year. Uh, it, it's just experiment, you know, getting it the first time and fishing it and trying different things and trying different places. It works everywhere from Tennessee to here in Lake Baccarat. Well, we're gonna, the guide wants to go to another spot, so we're gonna ease up to another place and we'll try to show you real, real easily how to throw it out, how to set the hook properly, and how to catch another good fish on the on the, on the, on the uh, Tokyo Rig. So let's get let's going. That's the beautiful thing about this little workshop we're doing. Everybody has their own little favorite patterns, and you're showing me a little bit about that Tokyo rig, mm -hmm. and maybe I can show you something about something else. You know, Absolutely. We all share an in information. That's a big deal. Yeah, and, and especially yeah. coming to a place like, you know, like Baccarat, where you catch a ton of fish, you can experiment with stuff right. and, you know, get your confidence up on new baits like this Tokyo rig. Yeah. And well, the new Senko, too. Okay, and I'll ask the guy. He's, he's pointing out there to throw out there. Okay, I'm going to throw it out there. A nice long cast. Let it sink to the bottom on the bottom and just kind of oh you get one right away that's pretty good mike he threw out there in like three seconds had one <laughs> not bad i'm just getting a little one away from you First Tokyo rig fish. First one I've ever caught. Well, I don't know, I haven't caught them yet. <laughs> but I set the hook as soon as, as soon as I felt them. Hey, but you gotta start sometime. It wasn't any kind of fish, but it's a Tokyo fish. Tokyo rig fish. And that's that's the whole key. We're learning so much about new techniques, trying trying new baits. That's what this whole workshop's all about. Little bitty bass. Okay, yeah, throw them back, sir. Appreciate it. So again, a brand new concept, a brand new lure, a brand new presentation. The Tokyo rig. What I like in a worm rod. Now this this is my regular worm rod. This is a prototype uh, Pro Series. It's a heavy action, seven foot three inch, and it's it's what I use for worm fishing. Mm. But it's really perfect for the Tokyo rig. Now I have it rigged up with a. Uh, 
In this case, it's a it's a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader, but I have braid. I got a 50 pound braid right here, and then um. So so that's kind of my compliment. What's your compliment? What, what, what do you like as far as rods and and, and packs? I'm fishing a this is a, actually a seven six heavy rod. Okay. A um, little bit heavier than I would normally fish, but we're down here in Mexico, so sure. we're going a little heavier. I would normally fish like a seven foot three medium heavy, perfect. You know, a little bit of tip okay. action. That's kind of what I have you know, here. Because you want to like. feel the bait, but you want enough uh, backbone to be able to set the hook. Right. Right. So we got it. We're about the same. We're on the same page on on the rod. Uh, and the other thing is when you when you throw that out, I noticed I was watching you. You kind of are in a strike position. You know these are heavy rods, so you don't have to. You know you can load up on them pretty good. I noticed right. that you were holding your rod at about a 45, and and you were really ready to set the hook right then. And then all you're doing is setting the hook mm -hmm. from this position. Right, right. He doesn't have a clue. Oh, there's one. Okay, it's on. Okay, there, you go. there we go. Hey, I'm telling you what. The Tokyo rig struck again. Yes, sir, just a little old bass. You know, we didn't catch any big bass today, uh, Mike, but we showed the audience a few things about, about this brand new Tokyo rig. And I'm telling you what, folks, there's a lot of potential. I, this is my first day that I've ever fished it, so I'm not any kind of expert. Mike has caught a no, What's the biggest bass you've caught on the Tokyo rig? About seven pounds. Seven pounds. I'm just catching little ones, but I have a lot to learn, but I see a lot of potential here. And so, Mike, well, hey, listen, hey, thanks for teaching us a thing or two about the Tokyo rig, and, and we'll pleasure. get back and, uh, and do some serious fishing here in a minute and possibly catch that 10-pound bass. Hey, so I hope you learned a thing or two. Listen, I post every Wednesday about 6 o'clock, and I post every Sunday about 6 o'clock. And then I do this little how how to or what's up rolling on Fridays. And so that's like a recap for the week. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and please subscribe. We'll see you soon.